cragged shores, peninsulas, and bold offshore islands like the Skelligs have long inspired Irish maritime legends, called Imran. In places like County Kerry, these stories are preserved through both craft and pastimes. Today, artisans draw upon Celtic designs and patterns thousands of years old, as well as the form of wild flowers on the grassy hills of these seaside towns. One Irish folktale speaks of a phantom island off the western shore called High Brazil. Expeditions to this mysterious land date back to the 14th century. The island cannot be found at present. But folk tales are not the reason many people come here today. My name is Kieran Burke. Um, I own the surf school behind you back there in County Kerry. This is where I live. Surfing here since uh, 1990. Oh, long time, a lot of waves. I was a kid and my dad used to have this uh, aftershave called Old Spice. And I saw that commercial on TV and I saw this guy just take off in a wave and he disappeared for a couple of seconds and then he just came spitting out of this wave and I was going, oh my God. And I was like, I want to be able to do that someday. Then I thought like, oh, how hard can this be? So I took it for a spin and then I realized how hard it was. But I just kept going and kept going and kept going. From then on, it's just been full belt. You come down here on the, on the day when the waves are really good, like during the summer or maybe the start of the autumn and you could have like 20, 30 guys here. You know, so 20 years ago there was only five or six constantly surfing all the time that you'd be in the water with, but now it's got really, really busy. It's an addiction, you know, that you never get over. There's no cure for it. <laughs> There's so many people that I meet that go, you got waves in Ireland. <laughs> Come on, like we're an island stuck right in the middle of the Atlantic. There's less to contend with here. I mean, you, you travel abroad, it's... You've got mozzies, you've got dengue, you've got all these diseases, spiders, snakes. You know, you come back here, there's nothing to be worried about, you just paddle out. We've got absolutely pristine conditions when the, when the surf is good. And it's just, I think it's the best place on the planet. Out of the water and within the seaport of Dingle, Sean Daly heads to work for another day of practicing a very distinct skill set. We opened up Dingle Crystal in 1999, myself and my wife, after serving my time with Waterford Crystal and working with that company for 16 years. And today we're a small family business, probably one of the last remaining studios in Ireland that specializes in actual handcrafted crystal. When I get the piece, I mark the design on it, and then I hand cut it on the wheels in, in my workshop here. So when you run your fingers on it, you can feel the, the sharp edges of the crystal. And that's what I like for our customers to feel. That's the way all Irish crystal was up to modern times. That's our Celtic flame. So we're keeping the old traditions alive. All the designs and patterns are designed and inspired by the surrounding area of West Kerry. We have beautiful landscapes and so a lot of my designs reflect all these patterns. For instance, this particular design is called Celtic Flame and Celtic Flame was inspired by the ancient cup and circle rock art on the Dingle Peninsula. And these guys here, these are little beehive buildings on Slayhead Drive. They like to hike into the mountains, so the mountains around West Kerry are dotted with the beehive buildings. Throughout the recession, it was just me on my own. 
and now um, since 2014 I have five employed here and they're all family and, uh, and, and I'm trying to pass on the tradition of what I do in hand cutting crystal to my sons and hopefully we'll keep the tradition alive and keep the, the craft alive. Storytelling is an integral part of Irish identity. Stories of fairies, leprechauns, and heroic adventurers who have moved through the green landscapes and rugged coasts for thousands of years. In The Kingdom, as it is called by those who live there, these stories find a new life in Irish craft. Through carving crystal, or riding the waves mentioned in the maritime legends, we find the fragments of the tales that have given meaning to life here. What stories might you find in The Kingdom?